It is the deepest league. It is the conference that has produced the last two national champions, the SEC. Lou Holtz, Mark May here, and there are all kinds of stars in the SEC. There always are. Four of the top ten players taking the last NFL draft from SEC schools. Who are the stars you're watching this year? The individual I want to see is Jevin Sneed. Here's an individual originally committed to Florida, went to Texas. And I remember a couple years ago, who's going to start? Is it going to be Sneed or Colt McCoy? They're both going to play. They went with Colt McCoy. Jevin Sneed did not get a chance to play. He transferred to Mississippi. He is a key to Mississippi's chance this year, and I think they will be the surprise team in the SEC. I think the players to watch have to be at Florida. And the one has got to be Tim Tebow, the man of steel. 55 total touchdowns last year, completed 67% of his passes. Can he carry that over to this season? The other player to watch is Carlos Dunlap, a defensive end at Florida, 6'6", 290 pounds, had an outstanding spring. No one could block him. Keep an eye on Carlos Dunlap. Now, I'll be watching Matthew Stafford, no Sean Marino, too, and also <laughs> the linebacker Rolando McClain from Alabama. Who's feeling the pressure in the SEC? I think it has to be Georgia because they're picked to win the division and the conference championship and the national championship. And yet their schedule is ridiculous. They play six different coaches that have won a national championship. And let's keep in mind the last two years, Tennessee has beaten them decisively both years. I think the pressure has to be on the LSU quarterbacks because you're looking at a quarterback in Andrew Hatch. Andrew Hatch played JV football at Harvard. He should That's make smart right. decisions. He'll make smart decisions, but he hasn't played in a pressure field environment like the SEC, playing for the defending national championship at LSU. The key is going to be Jarrett Lee or Andrew Hatch, the starting quarterback at LSU. I know they're just going to manage the game for their defense and their rushing attack, but still, that's a lot of pressure for a first-year starting quarterback. Okay, so who survives all these battles? Who wins the conference? The University of Georgia. I think they're just too strong with no Sean Marino, Matthew Stafford, etc. Plus, I think Mark Rick is a great football coach, but once again, their schedule is difficult. But they beat Auburn in the championship game. Who was the best player in America last year? It was Tim Tebow. He won the Heisman Trophy last year? Yes, he did. And he's back again this year? He, uh, last count, yeah. I'm going with the Florida Gators. The reason why is because Emmanuel <laughs> Moody, Keishan Moore, will rush the ball for Florida behind their offensive line, take a lot of pressure off of Tim Tebow. There's just too much talent on this Florida football team not to win the SEC. Uh, you mentioned them in passing. They'll watch out for Auburn, too. Tuberville has them under the radar. Pretty good schedule. A uh, good situation for Tommy's Tigers.